Hey guys, it's Becca. I know this is a little late to the party, but I have my August empties for you. I have about two bags, so I'm gonna try to make it as quick and painless for you guys as possible. So I think I'm gonna start with this one. Let's get into it. And let's move my phone so it doesn't... So, the first I used up was the sens uh, Up and Up Sensitive Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. They're compared to Simple. I didn't like these, didn't care for them. Won't be repurchasing. Then I got the, what's this, okay. These are the Pure Silk Clean and Smooth Body Shave Razors. I purchased these at Family Dollar. And you guys, I am gonna be going back and buying more. These are my favorite razors. I never tried them until now, and they are really affordable, super cheap. So yeah, totally gonna be rebuying. Next, I got the, ooh, almost had my stuff fall off the table. Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo by OGX. And I also have the conditioner as well. These were okay. I feel like if you use another like shampoo and conditioner while you're using this at the same time, not like at the same time while you're in the shower, but like if you kind of alternate it, these work really well. Otherwise, if you continually use them, they're just not that great. But um, I will probably try them again in the future, just not anytime close. I have the One A Day Women's Vitacraves. Uh, they are the multi vitamins and I take a multivitamin every day probably repurchasing them at some point I got the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Better Anti-Aging Moisturizer with Frankincense and Myrrh Extracts this is what it looks like I really didn't like this stuff you guys um, I felt like it wasn't really hydrating it said that it was supposed to be for dry aging skin and I felt like this didn't work for me at all, so I won't be repurchasing. Next, I have the Simple Clean Antibacterial Deep Cleansing Hand Soap from Ulta. You guys, it smelled like soap from a trucker's bathroom. You know how you go on your road trip, uh, on your road trips, and you stop at like the truck stops. This is what it smells like. And once in a while, the smell doesn't bother me, but when you do it, when you use it every day, I don't know, just kind of smelled funky to me. Next, I have the Spring Valley Folic Acid 400 uh, milligrams. I will be repurchasing these. Next, I have two basic cotton rounds from um, Up and Up Target. These are gonna be a repurchase, love them, use them. Next, I have the Elf Eye Refresh. This was okay, I don't know if I'll repurchase it again, we'll see. I don't really remember it, to be honest. Um, is this, okay, uh, Oral-B Pro, uh, Pro Glide Floss, I have a million flosses in here, I floss my teeth, I floss my teeth obviously, um, these were good, I will probably be repurchasing, next I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer, I don't remember this, this started looking quite funky in my bathroom or wherever I had it, I don't remember. I just kind of threw it in. You know, when you have these, you know, I tried to go once a month and find what things are kind of growing and are kind of old. This is probably way past its prime. Next, I have the Colgate Optic White, uh, Optic White Express. Uh, I got this in a Walmart beauty box. I wasn't really impressed by it. I have the All May Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone in Light Medium. Um, this is their Skin Tone Matching Makeup. You guys, I love this stuff. This is not talked about enough on YouTube. Uh, I don't, I feel like it's one of those things, you can use it as BB cream, you can use it as a full face foundation. It works either way. I will be repurchasing in the future. This is definitely low maintenance. It's awesome. I've been using this stuff for years. Definitely go out and buy it. Next, I have the Eye Base in Be A Bombshell Com Cosmetics Submissive. I'm pretty sure this dried out on me, so I have to toss it. Next, I have a Clinique Happy Sample. I used it up. I have a larger one. My aunt gave this to me. It was great. I will probably repurchase at some point in the future. 
Um, I have the NYX HD Concealer in uh, CW02. I think this is fair. Um, pretty much this started to smell like paint theater and I knew it was time to get rid of it. So time for that. I have a Bath and Body Works White, Tris, white Citrus uh, Soap. Eh. And this was a sample. It was really good. I like it. Next, I have the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This was getting really old, so I kind of had to get rid of it. This is in the light one. It's such a shame. I, do, I will probably repurchase for the fact that I didn't get really a chance to use it, and I really don't remember it. Maybe in about a year or so. I'm kind of obsessed with my uh, the things I have for my brows right now. Next, I have a Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade Fair. Um, this was going bad too. It smelled funky, so I, of course I have to toss it. I have a Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Version Mascara. I can't remember who makes this. I think this was L'Oreal. I did like this mascara. I might repurchase in the future. If anything, I feel like in the end it started to flake on me and that's why I wasn't really, um, it wasn't so keen on it, but um, I felt like for the length of time I had it, it could have lasted a little longer without flaking. I have the NYX Micro Brow in Auburn. I have a million of these. You'll probably see more of them. Um, Garnier Nutrition. Nutrice conditioner. Uh, when I dye my hair, I get these little things and I use them up. I have the Ion Smooth Solutions Lightweight Daily Leaving Conditioner. I got this from Sally's. It's a little sample. It was okay. I like my uh, Argan Oil better. I have a CoverGirl uh, Calm, Crush, Calm Crusher Mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all times. This is a waterproof version. Um, I love the wand on it. I'm obsessed. You guys. Uh, there we go. <laughs> One of my favorite mascaras of all time. I am going to be repurchasing. I got the Starlux Pro eyeliner pen. This I had a long time ago in a boxy charm. It dried up. I don't remember it. Next, I have a Ofra Universal Eyebrow Pencil. I don't use it, so I'm probably just going to toss it. Um, next is a Cla Maybelline Colossal Pumped uh, Mascara. I don't really remember this one either. I don't think I was impressed with it, so I probably won't be repurchasing it anytime. I have a e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I love these. Repurchased them many times. We'll be repurchasing more. And let's get into the last bag. Yay! Almost halfway done with the video. Woo! <laughs> I don't like doing long videos. I feel like I'm boring you guys to death. The next is the Huggies. Wipes. These are the Walmart wipes I kept telling you guys about. If you have a baby, maybe these will be good for it, but for what we use them for in the beauty community, they suck. I have the Ren Pure Solutions Cleansing Conditioner and Lavender. I have about halfway left the product in here. I hated it. Um, the pump didn't work on here, and I felt like I had to use a shampoo um, to kind of really help get what it's supposed to be used for. Um, it weighed my hair down. It made my hair feel greasy, and I got hair in my lip gloss, and I just didn't like the way it felt. So, and I just I didn't enjoy it. So, yeah, never again. Next, I have a Bath & Body Works uh, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap and um, Blushing Tulips. My mom couldn't stand the uh, scent of this. She gave it to me. I loved it instead. And I don't know. I've just been into florals lately. I've never really been a floral kind of girl, but I guess as my age 
kind of matures, so did my taste. Next, I have a Dial Hand Soap in Coconut Water and Mango. This was really good. This is the second time I purchased it. We'll probably be repurchasing it again. And then I have another Garnier Nutrice Conditioner. So this was probably, I think I found these in my shower and I just wanted to use them up. So I did that. They were okay, nothing spectacular. And then last but not least, this is my baby. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I was so upset to have this um, pretty much be in my empties. Uh, this primer potion is amazing if you have oily eyelids. I feel like nothing else can compare to the way it feels on my, eye, uh, on my eyes because of the fact that I have oily eyelids. And um, it's just a good base. So if you want to definitely get one of those, I know it's Urban Decay and it's expensive, but buy the travel size versions. If you're like me and you don't wear eyeshadow as much as I do, you get the travel size, it's 12 bucks, and I like the applicator on the smaller ones anyway. All right, that was my empties video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you, ha please subscribe if you guys haven't. I hope you guys have a great day, bye.